All right, what up guys? I finally got my tripod going. So anyways, um, hopefully you guys can see me properly. You know, tripod's kind of gimmicky. Anyways, I ended up going back to Charlie's Subs and I really wanted to do a review on what I think would be a good review on wings, chicken wings, right? So obviously in California, a little in the United States, wing stops a big deal. So I wanted to go ahead and try some um, some boneless wings and some actual classic wings, some some drums. And I want to compare the actual flavors that I, are my favorite from Wingstop, which is um, lemon pepper. I also got garlic parmesan because that's pretty popular as well. They also had some unique flavors that I've never seen before. Hot honey, um, common flavors like buffalo barbecue, obviously, Korean barbecue. Um, they had mango habanero, which is I'm, I'm pretty sure is Wingstop flavor as well. What else? They had? they had another flavor as well that I had never seen before. And I can't remember now. I, I was trying to commit it to memory, but I forgot. But Hot Honey was one I've never tried, never heard of at all. So anyways, I ended up getting the, uh, the usual for me when it comes to wings. And I wanted to go ahead and do a comparison concerning Charlie's Sub. I did a video last week. It did pretty, it did pretty decent for my channel. Even though my channel's not that popular, um, I actually got some views. So I was happy about that. So anyways, I wanted to come back and... Um, do a review concerning chicken wings and so you know obviously charlie's subs is known for subs like i said the subs are not bad they really you if you really do get a sub make sure you get some sauce because it really adds a kick to it it really does add a certain um zest to the food in general so you know get a sauce if you get a, if you actually get a philly cheesesteak or a sub um anyways wings so i also got some cajun fries so obviously wingstop has um you know they're known for their own fries as well i actually secrets out but you know i used to work at wing stop so this is why i ended up you know really wanting to do this review not I, I, it's been a long time since i worked there so i don't know what's going on anymore but i used to work there they actually had a uh, secret sauce not a secret sauce but a secret seasoning for their fries so i wanted to like um see if uh charlie subs actually um charlie cheesesteaks um fries actually compares so let's try these fries first and let's see what, let's see what you got now they're not the same texture that's for damn sure i want to see if they had the same like same flavor though and they don't these are cajun probably apparently they're okay these fries are a bit more um regular fries wing stop fries are a bit more stringy or a bit they're a bit they have a different texture so yeah. Um, concerning the actual flavoring itself, it's okay. It's not like killer. It's not like zesty. But uh, I was gonna get the uh, animal. They're not animal style fries. They look like animal style fries from In and Out. What Charlie's Sea Steaks really has. But um, I wanted to try these fries to actually compare them to Wingstop's fries. I think Wingstop still has better fries. These are all right. Now, concerning the actual fries, these are probably thicker. These are probably bigger. But I really like Wingstop seasoning in general with their fries. I'm not too sure. I don't remember what, what kind of seasoning it really is. It always tastes like cinnamon to me. Some kind of sugar or something like that. I don't remember what it what exactly was. It never had a label. I couldn't tell you what it was. But um, it had a certain seasoning for their fries that I remember. If you ever had Wingstop in their fries, you probably know what I'm talking about. So if you haven't had it, you know. Make your way out to Wingstop and check it out. But um, when it comes to comparing the fries, Wingstop wins for this one. Um, now, I don't want to make this video too long. Obviously, I don't want to talk your ear off. But um, I ended up getting some ranch. To really try the... Um, I don't know what this is here. Also, I should have showed the fries. I don't know why I didn't think of that in the first place. I'm so sorry guys that's what the fries look like right so you really see that up front hopefully the this camera that i'm using better is better a lot more detailed so you know the fries don't look bad right they look crispy they were crispy they were crunchy but um i think wing stop still wins now i think these are the actual classic wings because they don't feel like boneless wings they feel heavier i got the 10 piece also where did my receipt go i know i put the receipt in the bag I don't know where it went. Here it is. So, 
kind of scramble brain right now because I had to do something else before I did this video. This obviously was right here, $29.99 with tax. So I spent 30 bucks on some wings, but you know, even in wing, even if you go to wing stops, it's pretty expensive, you know. So they expect to spend at least 20 bucks, right? So, anyways, so I got the lemon pepper wings. We really wanted to compare these to wing stops, lemon pepper wings. So those are my favorite wings, you know. Anyway, this is what these look like. They 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 actually have some sauce at the bottom, right? I don't know if you can really see that. Hopefully you can see that. Hopefully the camera has a good picture of it. Anyways, um, dig right in, right? So obviously it does have some lemon pepper sauce. I want to try this with and without ranch first. Let's try it. I don't know. Hmm. Kind of hard to tell. It's obviously, if you want some lemon pepper, it's obviously lemon pepper. But what's really the difference? I mean, I'm not too sure. There's obviously a lot of seasoning on these. Um, I got all drums as well, so I got a good amount of drums. These are decent drums. They're not bad, bad um, selection of wings, in my opinion. Um, hmm. Is there really a difference in the seasoning as well as what I'm questioning, as well as the sauce? Um, tastes like lemon pepper to me, guys. I don't know what else to mean about, you know, it being any different. Um, Distinction-wise, um, I probably would still prefer Wingstop because I really like that flavor of lemon pepper. But, um... You want lemon pepper, obviously it's lemon pepper, you know. Um, hmm. What else to really mean? Um, it's zesty. Tastes good. Obviously it was made to order, so it's fresh. Um, what else? I really feel like these could have more seasoning on them. Um... Some of the seasoning is just literally is at the bottom of the actual uh, plate itself, right? The box itself. And if you can tell, like, you know, there isn't a lot of seasoning on the actual wing. Is what I have a complaint about when it comes to Charlie's cheesesteaks wings. You know, when I usually when I get my wing stop wings, depending upon who makes them, obviously. So they're kind of, they're not well seasoned. So I probably have to go give wing stop, you know the run for your money here but um obviously they do taste like lemon pepper and they're not bad wings i'm not saying they're good and they're not bad wings i'm not saying they're not good wings what i'm trying to say but um comparing the, you know the two the two franchises i probably would still go with wing stop for sure but besides that um i think i got a good deal for my money though so you know i'm not complaining there but wing stop for sure So let's try this ranch and see how they rate on the ranch, right? So um ranch is good. It seems like a little bit of a little bit of a little bit more ranch you get here than wing stop, but you know. I don't want to make the video too long about me eating food, obviously. Obviously, it's a food review channel, but get right into the uh, garlic parmesan. I also got boneless wings to see how they really measure up. I got, let me make sure I got a good, a, a popular flavor. 
I was tempted to try out uh, like a unique flavor, but um, you know, I really wanted to compare it to Wingstop, so garlic parmesan is obviously a big flavored Wingstop, so and they're boneless, so you know, well, these look kind of strange. Be quite honest with you, I'm not too sure what to mean now. That's what they look like, you know. I'm not too sure what to tell you at all. Obviously, don't have. I didn't get a fork as well, so I do have a fork in my lunchbox. Luckily, luckily, you know. So let's try these. Let's give it a try. They kind of look. Um, what they remind me of is um. Obviously, they're garlic parmesan, so. But um, they're obviously they're they're big chunks of chicken as well, so. They remind me of like some kind of like um candy bread or like there's like they're actual they're not ho ho's but there's something else. They're like creamy candy bread, that's what they look like. They don't even look exactly look like chicken. So, anyways, here we go. Well, they don't taste bad. You know, they look kind of bad. Um, now to try these with ranch to see if it really does give it a kick. Obviously, you know, sauce always does something, right? So let's try this. Um, I think it's just the garlic parmesan or how these got seasoned but they do taste well cooked so concerning the fact that i'm comparing this to wingstop um it's a great question they don't exactly have parmesan on them so you can't exactly say they're probably parmesan they do taste garlicky though so i do know wingstop loves like to add a little bit of parmesan on their actual parmesan garlic parmesan wings so you know there's that Honestly, I don't know what to mean right now. I am, I'm hungry, but I'm not exactly enamored or impressed. So, you know. Um, I say Wingstop still wins. So wing stop overall, guys. Charlie's wings are not like, you know, the best wings ever. Obviously, you want some wings and you're out somewhere, you know, you know, they're they're obviously a decent choice, but and obviously, in my honest opinion, I'm not saying wing stop's the best as well, guys. I'm not saying that at all by far. I've actually had some killer wings at this bar I went to with my brother one time best wings I've ever had and they, they were like big pieces of chicken I was like well, I was impressed by the size and the sauce was very zesty I don't remember the sauce this is a while back it's been a couple years already but um I couldn't believe this hole in the wall bar had some killer wings so you know if you guys know some killer wings let, let everybody know like hey, hey this is place is bomb obviously wing stop is known because it's, it's obviously wing stop but I really wanted to do a, a review about uh wing stop and um Charlie's cheesesteaks. Obviously, you know when it comes to cheesesteaks, you can't complain about Charlie's cheesesteaks. I don't know if it's number one in the world. They claim it is on their actual business, right, right in front of their front desk. It literally says Charlie uh, Charlie cheesesteak number one in the world. Pretty sure there's people who will probably laugh at that in Philly. I've actually seen some Philly cheesesteak reviews, and so you know, regardless of that, um, wing stop for sure, guys. Wing stop for sure. Um, obviously, I also got a. Shawberry lemonade, and it's pretty delicious, though. Besides that, guys, I'm signing out. Make sure to like, subscribe, um, and uh, leave a comment uh, about what you guys think, a little on what I should review next. Last week, I believe, was Little Caesars. I got decent views as well. I also got some SEO going with somebody, so we'll see if it actually, you know, boosts my views as well. But um, obviously, I'm just, I'm just trying to make a good review channel in general. You know, get my opinion, and so that's all it really is about, guys. Um, besides that, 
Like I said, Wingstop for sure. When it comes to Charlie's Wings, they're not exactly what I thought they would be. I'm not impressed. I gave it maybe a 6, possibly a 7 out of 10, but it ain't an 8 or 9, it ain't a 10 out of 10, so... I mean, it ain't exactly a 5. I mean, it is a decent amount of food, but, um... Besides that, um... Go, go, let's try it in true, so that's what I'm trying to say. Anyways, have a good one, guys. Have a good one.